I wanted to work with the most vulnerable segment of the population. And if you look at youth with disabilities, the education levels are incredibly low and therefore only 30% of them are employed and most of them in the unorganized sector with very, very low salaries. If you look at women with disabilities, the statistics are even worse. The ILO says that because the youth with disabilities are not employed, it's a loss of 5% to 7% of our GDP. So my vision when I set up Youth for Jobs was to ensure that all persons with disabilities have equal access to education and employment. When we set up our first batch, we were waiting for youth with disabilities to enroll, but found that there were very few enrolling. And then when we went to the villages, we saw parents think that their childhood disability is useless, especially the girls, they keep them hidden. So we realized there was a big challenge there and we started a very, very scaled up Village Connect program. To reach the villages, we have large number of grassroots workers whose job is to go from village to village and to tell them that actually there is ability in disability. As our alumni go back to their villages and they begin working and when they get down from the bus in their uniforms and their salaries are sometimes 200% higher than their parents, this is a beautiful proof that any person with disability can actually work. We also work with the governments and various NGOs to reach out to the village households. And currently in our grassroots model, what we are doing is to make the sensitization attractive to the villagers. We are first giving them a small module of digital literacy. In the companies, we do a whole series of work from um, telling them where the jobs are, which is called a job role matrix, accessibility audits, helping them to make the infrastructure and the workplace friendly to youth with disabilities who are hired. Today, I'm happy to say that our Village Connect program has reached 9.2 million households, and we work with about 1,100 companies. As we started working with a lot of companies, companies started asking us for educated manpower. So then we started the College Connect program. As we started working with the educated youth in the colleges, we realized that the colleges did not understand about disability. So we set up our smart inclusion centers, which work with the educators to sensitize them, to teach them sign language. Technology is extremely important for us also in the future. And there our largest investment is on Swaraj Ability. This is an AI-triggered, accessible job platform for youth with disabilities. In the last 10 years, we've trained about 32,000 youth with disabilities and put them into quality jobs. You have to multiply that figure by five, about a lakh and 50,000, because uh, typically in homes, a youth with disability is a drain on the family and suddenly instead of being a drain what happens is that he becomes an asset most often the highest earning member and contributing actively to the family incomes these youth now are becoming our grassroots leaders and they have a very active urge to give back so we've started our grassroots model where it's a very, very unique kind of program which is of the disabled by the disabled. So I think that the next three years, there'll be a huge expansion and scale in terms of our numbers. And that'll come from three areas. One is um, our emphasis on technology. The second is our grassroots model. And the last but not the least is that I'm bringing the world's most prestigious conference to India, which is called the Zero Conference. When we walk in a forest, when we go in a garden, you know, everything is not the same. Some trees have dried leaves, some have red leaves, some have green leaves. And we say, wow, so beautiful. 
but when it comes to human beings and their differences if one doesn't have a hand if one can't speak you know or if someone is an acid victim you say oh god you don't say so beautiful <laughs> okay so the lesson is that learn from nature HSBC presents CNBC TV 18 Future Female Forward The Women's Collective